Muppet fans, it's Joe from Tuppix.com. I am back with another review. This time, look at this guy. We got a bust of animal. This thing comes from Diamond and it is part of their Legends series. It's a half scale resin bust of everyone's favorite drummer after Ringo Starr. Um, we're going to open this thing up. We're going to see what it looks like. We're going to see how awesome I think it's going to be. So let's take a look. Okay, here we go. Here's the box. In case you don't know what a box looks like, um, it tells me that it's a half scale resin bust, as I said. Uh, this is, there's some credits on here. It's designed by Joe Allard and sculpted by Rocco Tartamella. So, good job, you guys. All right, let's see what you came up with. All right, so. First thing I'm already seeing, it comes with a card that uh, has the same information as the box, but it's telling me it's number 439 of 1,000. So um, I guess if you um, get one of these, you're guaranteed to have only one of 1,000. That's pretty, that's pretty uh, exciting, um, rare. Um, all right, so we've got some styrofoam. Hopefully it won't make a mess in my apartment. I've already pre-cut this tape. Okay, let's see. All right, inside already, we've got animal trapped in plastic. He probably is having a little trouble breathing. So let's help him out here and get him out. Again, without making a mess with all this styrofoam. Okay, here we go. All right, there he is. <laughs> that looks just like animal. That's incredible. Um, okay, so I can already see Okay, first of all, I can see that the glitter around the drum base is uh, shedding a bit. So, great. That's something for me to look forward to finding for a while. Uh, there's a little bit of paper around his neck. It looks like, yep, it is covering up his chain, uh, which I guess would have uh, been scraping against the paint in, if it was in the box. So, um, I'll just have to be careful with that. This is, um, this is pretty great. Look at this. This is, when they say it's a half-scale bust, they're not saying, like, it's a... It's a uh, like the cartoon version or an illustrated version it's like they took a scan of the actual puppet and they shrunk it down a little bit and then they put his head onto this drum and then they gave it right to me um this is great uh i actually love this a lot um you know this is a little low but i'm gonna just put it down for a second to see yeah so the head i can tell is a little bit heavier than the rest of this thing and i was a little afraid that it was gonna topple over but Actually, I think once you get this thing onto a shelf, it's not going anywhere. Um, this is awesome. Uh, I love this. And uh, I, I'm really looking forward to having this on my shelf forever, if my wife lets me. Um, so uh, I guess if you are interested in getting a bust, I, I will say also a few years ago, some of you may remember, uh, a company called Sideshow Collectibles put out a series of Muppet busts. And it's been a regret of mine that I've never bought any of them because um, now they're really hard to find and obviously really expensive. So if you are like me and you're thinking, God, I wish I had gotten one of those things, then uh, maybe it's worth your, your time and a little bit of your paycheck to uh, get one of these animal guys because, um, you know, like I said, there's only one of a thousand. So, um, you know, they're not going to last forever. So thank you to the good folks at Diamond. Thank you to uh, the artists uh, Joe Allard and Rocco Tartamella for doing such an amazing job at really capturing animals' likeness. Well done. Uh, if, uh, if you can find this thing, it's a buy from me. So thanks again, everyone, for watching. And um, tune in for our next review sometime soon. And thanks for reading toughpigs.com. One day, one day, one day, one day.